I once had a friend who told me skateboarding made him socially inept. In fact, before I met my now fiance, I didn't have a single friend who didn't skateboard. Being alone, filming, skateboarding, even being told that I literally need to get off of the property feels like where I belong. It's where I feel like me. In every other aspect of life, I feel burdened. I got a comment the other day saying, try being a productive member of society. And it made me sad, not because I want to be a more productive member of society, but because people see being a productive member of society as a good thing. It is if that's what fulfills you, but all societies, call me the joker, uh, tries to work like this, make the most amount of people happy. But unfortunately, systems like this work against those it doesn't benefit. All good, but why would someone who exists in a system that works against them want to contribute to it? I can understand wanting to change it, but it's kind of a pipe dream. Not only will society not be what I want it to be, the kind of society my family could have used, but I don't even know what that looks like. Whatever, skating's fun. With finding whatever success on YouTube I've found, I've made lots of friends outside of skateboarding. And man, it's hard to feel a sense of belonging any in any other world 
Obviously, it's all in my head, I even know that, but it doesn't help in the moments of the insecurity. It's weird when I go to an event and people who don't even skate come up to me and say, I love your filmmaking style, or I love the motivational bits. Like, I've had multiple people tell me they skip the skating altogether, and that's proof enough alone that I can offer versions of entertainment other than skateboarding, even though that's my favorite piece of entertainment to consume personally. If there's something you want to do, a career you want to pursue, approach it unapologetically, embarrass yourself. I mean, who actually cares? You're going to be one dead-ass human soon, and you won't even sweat the small stuff when you exist for eternity in a state of unconsciousness for the next million years anyways. Obviously, easier said than done, but you're good enough to be whatever you want. Even if you're not good enough to do the job, you're good enough to learn from the people who do the job, you're good enough to make friends in the communities you aspire to be a part of. The secret to succeeding in any niche is not thinking that there is an entrance you have to fight to break through, but that you're already in it. You're good enough to become better than most at anything. That's a fact. Most people don't even learn how to kickflip. It's hard. But if you do, you're better than most skaters. I never feel like I belong, but at least I consciously know that that's stupid. Not only do I belong, but I know how to get technically good at things. And if you're technically better at the craft that you aspire to do for a living, then move forward with the fury of an army, because now it's all up to the relationships you build. And the more relationships you build, the more auditions you do, the more sessions you have. This is where luck comes in and it's okay to fight 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 for that luck because a lot of very successful people have had a lot more luck than you ever have had or probably will ever have so it's only fair for you to add up the opportunities for luck to occur although my brain says i don't belong here when i'm anywhere but a skate park or a skate spot i know my brain is just an insecure self-destructive idiot i became a pro skateboarder yay but i want to do more things and it's not selfish or silly it just is i will do the things that excite me and so will you and even if we don't succeed the way we think we will we won't be the people who don't try It's funny that we just skated Gojo's face the other day and then you get him tattooed on you. Yep. I mean, isn't Hank Hill like Texas? Yeah. 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 It should be easy. It's Arlen, Texas. It's Garland and Arlen to mix. Wait, is it is it called Arlen, Texas? No way. What are you looking at, dude? You gonna break it? Dude, your hair looks sick. Thanks, man. Who's going on camera too? Talking to me or Kendall? You. Okay, thank you, By the way, this is a sound booth, a uh, voice panel place that I built in four days uh, for potential you know, trying other things in my life that I'm excited to. And I'm already sweating vigorously, so I need to figure out a solution for this uh, melting thing. But anyways, this is why the voiceover probably sounded a little crisper than usual. I'm stoked, and I'm excited to try new things, and I hope you are too. Okay, take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.